shows uh, in television the past couple of years has been Miami Vice. And one of the main reasons is because of one of its stars, Mr. Don Johnson. Nice of you to drop by. Well, thanks. Last thanks time we saw each other, we were back for the U.S. Open watching the tennis while it was raining. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite a that was quite a day there. Yeah, and we're lucky to get through them. Yeah, you said you might be out here, and we kind of left it like this because you said, "Well, I might be there, and I'm doing something. If I can, I'll drop over." And it was nice of you. So we well, didn't want to. We didn't want a billboard in case the last minute. Yeah, you got a better offer. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> you know the money we pay on this. Uh, well, you know it's it's so tough to get to. Um, to L.A. from, from uh, Miami when, when we're working the kind of hours we're working yeah. down there. What, do you put, what time do you start on that show? I mean, you, you must well, work it a 10 hour day. Yeah, we start usually around, oh, 7, 6.30 or 7 on Mondays. And then by, um, by Friday night, we're working from 6, and, 6 at night till 6 in the morning. So and you do a lot of interior. You do a lot of locations. You do all, all kinds of stuff. That's a, that's a tough We state. do it all. We yeah. do it all, yeah. Now, somebody told me you were in Miami. Then you were out here. Then you were in Philadelphia. What, what were you doing in Philly? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I went to Philly to... Um, Do people from Philadelphia like you to call it Philly? Not, if you call San Francisco Frisco. Yeah. San Francisco does not... People don't like you to call it Frisco. They say it's San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, so I wondered if Philadelphia... I have no idea somewhere. about that. I know that they... I know it's a city of brotherly love, but they weren't feeling too brotherly that night. I'll tell you that. I was, I was there to do a, um, a benefit for uh, the wives and, and children of, of uh, uh, police officers and firemen killed in the line of duty. Right. And a very worthy yeah. charity. And, um, and uh, so I, I wanted to go there and lend my support. And on the plane there, I looked at the... Um, prepared remarks that uh, that uh, one of my uh, associates had written for me and and I noticed that they were very dry and didn't yeah. didn't have much humor to them at all so I so I started thinking well where am I gonna get some some jokes to, to yeah. liven this thing up a little bit I tried to call you you did yeah oh, I'd to help. your line was busy yeah and uh, so I, I called a couple more people and uh, I finally I finally called uh, my buddy Bob Hope and uh, Bob was very helpful, and uh, last minute he... He gave you jokes for he, Philadelphia? Yeah, yeah. He gave me, he gave me some Pope jokes. Oh, that's right, the Pope is yeah. here. Some Pope yeah. jokes. Pope jokes, yes. Did you try them out? They've, uh, <laughs> I'll say I did. <laughs> I died in Philly, oh, you're John. you're kidding. I, you know, I, uh, Nothing? No, no, it was, like, uh, it was like talking to an oil painting. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you know what that's Give like me sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool, cool, oh, no, I'm cool. Just, just, I'm sure being cool. a comedian well, of experience. Give me a couple of the, oh, give me one of the jokes that Hope gave you and tell it and let's see what happened. Oh, you got you got Zippo? Nothing. Not only do I die once in Philadelphia, I'm going to die again. That's here. okay. All right. But you've set Shall it I up. You set it up that you died. That's all right. Okay. So um, uh, we were. It was right after the Pope had arrived in uh, in Miami, and so I said, um, you know, I just uh, I just got in from Miami yes, uh, today, and uh, and uh, you know the Pope got there yesterday. I think he was showing off. He arrived an hour before his plane. No, no, no quotes. No quotes. No, no, no. no. I, I learned Listen. that from you. No, no, no big, no begging. No, no. You take it or you don't, but you can't beg. Okay. That's, All right. Well, shall I try another one? That's not bad, Don. That was, you know, that got about a, about a four on the meter. A four? It's not a what is Listen, not... I would have settled for a two in Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, let's see. Well, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, you know the um, the Pope flies one one step above first class. Uh, all of his stewardesses have wings, real ones. <laughs> see that? Now that's that, that's more like what I got there. Yeah. Nobody booed in Philadelphia. Yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, we have a very selective group here. They, <laughs> what are these critics knows, here? This I group mean... knows comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. You want to try one here. more of these? <laughs> what? Now, now that you humiliated yourself anyway. Uh, shall we uh, try one more? Sure, just, why not? I mean, I've dug this hole. I'm going to go. I'm going right. to keep I'm right a, on going. I enjoy it. I also I learned that from you. I enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, now, you know, the Pope said he wanted to see um, a lot of poor people while he was here. Well... I told him he should have come on April 15th. That's fair. There you go. 
That's not so bad. You know why it's always more difficult for an actor than a professional comedian to get laughs? They expect the comedian to get laughs. They're sitting looking at you, and they don't expect it, so by the time you've told it, they're still looking at you. You see? Yeah, yeah well, I, I would like to think that I think these, I think these might have been cardboard cutouts that, yeah. I, was, that well, I was dealing with. No, they're very nice. Anyway, you were very brave to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also very foolish. Yes, <laughs> no kidding. So stick with us a couple of minutes. We're going to come right back. <laughs> Premieres tonight, right? Yeah. Season premiere. Yeah, the show premieres yeah. tonight. We'll it's... talk about that in a moment, and I understand you sneaked a clip in there earlier today. We'll show a little bit of uh, uh, what, what you're going to see on Miami this season. Yeah, I sneaked a clip into uh, Bobby. You know, I can't go by a drugstore nowadays without seeing the tabloids. You know, the ones that they keep oh, next. I won't mention any names, but they're next to the uh, AAA batteries and the Tic Tacs. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and boy, you were in there every other week. Yeah, isn't that? I thought uh, maybe you want to set some of the records straight. Now, one of them has said that you were you were dating you're dating this woman and you're dating that woman and so forth. Yeah. The truth of the matter is, yes. you do That's a series. That's what we want on this yeah. show. Truth. Yeah, truth. I noticed that. That's right. <laughs> you you don't have uh, when you're doing a series, you don't have time for dating. Mm -hmm. That's a thing of the past. Uh, it's a memory. It's a uh, John. It's please, a, please, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to buy that. No, I'm not buying no, that. I didn't think so. Well, <laughs> are you, as they say, playing the field? Uh, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I am definitely playing the field. I am. Um... Well, no, no you maybe not after tonight. No, you can't. You, you know. can't queue up outside now. So you're not seeing anybody in particular. No, no. I, okay. I have a few young ladies that I see upon occasion that are, <laughs> that are uh, you know, warm and understanding. And... Pals. Yeah, pals. Buddies. It's always nice to have pals. Yeah. Uh, then, then there was a rumor you were going to remarry, your, get remarried to your ex-wife. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, I'm not remarrying my ex-wife. I'm remarrying your ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Here's some... Here's some... <laughs> oh. Well, Look, keep sending a, those checks. I have a car. Right? I'll take you there right tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that now there's another rumor going. No, on. no, that's just not true. Okay, I, I, all right. I'm, I'm not <laughs> marrying your ex-wife or, or my ex-wife. Somebody Once said you know you lived enough. on a private island off the coast of Florida to avoid crowds. Uh, that was one thing I read. No, not that's, true. Yeah, that's absolutely false. Okay. I invite several crowds <laughs> on to the island. Okay. <laughs> Are you basically kind of a private guy? We've met socially. We don't know each other well. We've never had a cookout, you know, at our house or anything, or a, a sleepover, but... Uh, are you, but I've are, always wanted to. <laughs> are you comfortable with large crowds of people? I am not. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with large crowds of people. I, 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 get, I get kind of nervous. Um, funny things seem to happen when I get in large crowds of people. I mean, uh, I've seen, you know, I'm t trying to be as modest as I can be here. I've seen other stars uh, uh, step out in the crowds and they seem to be fine. With, with me, they, they want to take something home. And it usually, <laughs> it usually is a part of my person. Really? So, uh, so. No, that they like you, they, they, want, it, they want a touch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really enjoy the, um, I mean, part of the reason that you get into this business in the first place is, you know... Uh, For the recognition. Yeah, the yeah. adulation and the recognition. Um, the, the, um, the thing that... One of my little pet peeves about it is that people... When I'm working a, a lot, I, I'm very... I'm there 150%, right. and I'm into my work, and... And sometimes when you're going back and forth from the from the motorhome to the to the set, uh, people will be by and they and they get incensed and sometimes can be very very rude and hurtful yeah. if you don't stop and 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 yeah. uh, uh, chat with them for five or ten minutes. Sometimes and, your mind isn't. Yeah. yeah. And frankly, there just isn't time. I mean, the the company doesn't allow it, and yeah. uh, and uh, we I I try to do as much as I can, but um, it's just sometimes there's it's just yeah. impossible, and they can they can really be. Uh, <laughs> Cold. They can be cold, John. Yeah. <laughs> they can be cold. What do you got coming up on the show this year that's different? You've, you've changed the styles a little bit, although I know you get tired about people talking about the style fashions that you guys wear. Uh, you let the hair go a little longer this year, didn't you? Know? Yeah, well, that's part. I mean, part of the thing is, and the the, uh, the style and the, and the fashion uh, uh, sense that came out of the show, which we're all very proud of, yeah. mind you. But it really came out of a. Uh, I'm an actor. And I create a character, right. and this character is an undercover cop. And undercover cops change their appearance from time to time. And in in our show, uh, what was uh, 
what was picked up on so readily was that um, we didn't really redefine anything. We were just contemporary. Right. And uh, by that, we were contemporary in our in our dress and in our in uh, and we uh, story wise and uh, integrity wise for the characters. We used the confiscated money and clothes right. and cars and houses and boats and things uh, uh, from the drug dealers and. Uh, and uh, for the undercover cops. Yeah. Now, when we started wearing that stuff and our personal sense of style, that got picked up. And yeah. I mean, blown completely out yeah. of proportion. So, so that it got to be a thing where I, I couldn't... I couldn't go anywhere without, <laughs> you know, go somewhere in a, in a pair of jeans. And it was like, oh my God, he's wearing jeans. <laughs> Let's hang it. <laughs> like, like a big deal. Yeah. So it was, uh, it, it was, yeah. and all of that is just, to, you know, to, to protect the character, sure. you know, and trying to stay true to him. So I, in an effort to do that, I let the hair grow a little longer yeah, this year. Yeah, why not? We got a little clip uh, yeah. from one of the episodes. You want to, you want to tell us what we're going to see here? Well, this is, a, this is a clip that, uh, this is one of the shows coming up in, uh, I think, two or three episodes down yeah. the line. And it's, um, Crockett is uh, accidentally uh, shoots a young boy in the, uh, in the opening. Uh, and it's... And it's um, and it starts to work on him, and it starts to be something that uh, that uh, stresses him out to the max, and yeah. uh, and he won't. Uh, he's been trying to deal with the psychiatrist, but can't. And, right. and that's that pretty much sets it up. Okay, <clears throat> watch the monitors. Here's an excerpt from Miami Vice. Where were you yesterday? Took a ride to Atlanta to see my kid. He didn't go. Funny, that's what my ex-wife said. You two been talking? You in or out? You said I could have a couple of days off. I took them. I should have called. I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm back. You're off the street. You can't do that. So is this the way the department stands behind me? A few self-appointed community spokesmen raise a little dust and I'm on my tail for the winter. Is that the idea? Department cleared you. So, I'm off the hook. With the department. But not with the community. Not with yourself, Sonny. Delello called you. What does he want me to say? What do you want me to say? I'd like to see you up there. I shot the kid. I shot him. He may die. It was my gun. I can't pull the bullet back in there. And there's nothing that you say or anybody says or no shrink is going to change that. Yeah. Okay. Here's an answer. <laughs> yeah. a good scene. We look forward to seeing the new season. Look, I know you can't stay. It was nice of you to drop over here. I know you're in town to do a few things for with your you're involved in some other projects through yeah. your, your company. So you head back from Miami when? Monday? Uh yeah, Monday night I'll be heading back. I wanna say I wanna say hi to my terrific crew okay. down in Florida. Hello. Hi guys. Hello, crew. Yeah. More delighted to you. Yeah. Don, thanks for coming. Thank you.